Hello crafty friends, I'm Lean from Studio Kato and I'm so happy you're joining me again today on the Reverse Confetti YouTube channel. Today I'm sharing a fun, sh uh, a fun circle card, not a shaker card, <laughs> using the new Love Wins stamp set and the gorgeous large rainbow circle die. Uh, both from the new release, and I love them both very, very much. They're especially awesome for Pride Month, which is coming up in June. So <laughs> I hope you buy this stem set because um, part of the revenue from this stem set will also be donated to... There's two charities, and I always forget one of the names. <laughs> I think it's the Human Rights project and the Trevor project. I am not sure. I'll make sure all the right information is in the description below. So just stamped a couple of images. I stamped a couple of images because at this point I was making multiple cards. I'm only going to show you the bare card today, but I will link you to the card I made with the little kitten as well. So I just stamped those images onto Claire Fontaine DCP 250 GSM cardstock which is what I always use for my marker coloring. You can use whatever you have that works with markers. This is very easily available here and it's also quite cheap, so it works out. <laughs> and I just stamped those in some uh, Memento Tuxedo Black ink, I think. Any ink that is alcohol marker friendly, but you know I do love my embossed outlines. So I left the stamps in my Misty while I did my coloring. I had a lot of fun coloring this because I kind of struggle to uh, figure out color combinations with my markers or three marker combinations for one color is what I mean here. So finding three oranges that work well together to go from light to dark. I have budget markers and the numbering on those doesn't make much sense, so finding combinations is a struggle sometimes, but this really made me figure out combinations for each color of the rainbow, which was perfect and exactly what I needed. I made sure to write them up all down and I hope to use them again soon. Um, this little bear is so awesome with this little pride flag. And like I said, I left the stems in my Misty so I could stem them again in Versafine Onyx Black ink. This is a pigment ink and that means I can emboss with it. Um, I like to emboss my images because I like that glossy black outline, but you can't use your alcohol markers over embossed outlines. Uh, you will rub away the embossing powder, the alcohol marker eats away at the embossing powder and it actually melts into the nip of your marker and it can ruin your nips. Um, <laughs> doing it once or twice shouldn't be a problem, but you shouldn't do it all the time. So I make a habit out of <laughs> not doing it. I just do that little extra step of stamping it once again. Now I die-cut those images and I also die-cut the large rainbow circle die. You will see the full thing in the end, but it cuts these little arches, they're rainbow arches, but I'm using them as an as uh, landscape elements. So I use two grassy hills and then the rest I'm coloring as a sky. I did color one very light yellow as a kind of sunshine thingy. I'm not sure what I was going for, but I like some yellow in my sky. I usually put one color other than blue in my sky. Sometimes that's yellow, sometimes pink. It just spices things up a bit. So I put some painter's tape facing up on my ink blending mat, which is just a laminated sheet of white cardstock. I can put those arches on there that holds them in place and I can just ink blend each color on each arch. And I made sure I put them in order, in order uh, before I started ink blending because I knew I was going to mess up otherwise. Now to actually place these on my card, I did one extra step and I dry embossed this circle die or this large rainbow circle die just on some scrap white cardstock. So I just followed the directions on my die cutting machine to dry emboss instead of die cut. And then I cut with scissors around the entire circle, but I knew where each arch was supposed to go. And that really helped me uh, get the placement right. So I just glued each arch on there. I had the dry emboss lines in there 
You can't really see them very well on camera, but in real life, it was very clear where each line was supposed to go. Now I want to add a sentiment, but I want to curve it along one of those arches. So I placed the acetate. This is just the back of the stamp set from the Loveland stamp set. I placed it on top of my uh, rainbow arch and that will keep the stamp in place a little bit. So having acetate on top of wherever you want to stamp a curved sentiment really helps to keep that curve in place. It's sticky, the stamp will stick to it. So it's really easy to curve it and have it not. Um, it's really fussy to curve a sentiment if, you, if it's not sticking to something. So I just stamped that with my Misty. I used VersaFine Onyx Black again, so I could heat emboss that as well with some clear gloss embossing powder. And there you have that sentiment that follows a curve of one of those rainbow arches. To make a circle card base, I die cut two basic circle shapes and I scored one of them. I just used my um, Fiskars paper trimmer for that, but you can use a scoreboard, whatever you have. Um, and all over the place that is above the score line, I put some glue and that is going to be my hinge to glue the cards together. That way I can open up the card. I always open up my circle cards before I glue anything on because you can't really tell what the top and bottom of a circle card is. So if you want to adhere things on straight, uh, you better open that card up so you can actually see where the top of the card is. So just glued that circle circle element on, the circle rainbow on, and then I am propping that little bear up on some foam tape. I would have propped the circle up on some foam tape as well, but I don't know why I, did, why I didn't. I usually always prop up my panels, and for some reason I just skipped a step <laughs> this time, and I'm not sure why. It would have looked a lot better if it was propped up, probably. <laughs> So with that bear adhered, all that's left to do is add a couple of embellishments. I love my bling, so I had to have a little something on there. I chose something really subtle. These are clear bubbles from Little Things from Lucy's Cards, and I'm just choosing a couple, a handful of them, and gluing them along the bear. Placing embellishments, it's really easy if you just adhere them around where you want to draw attention to. So for me, that was that little bear. You can also adhere some to the sentiment if you think that's more important in your card. So yeah, that's how I cho choose where to place my embellishments. I just try to figure out where I want the eye of the viewer to be drawn to. And that's it, a really fun pride card for the upcoming pride month. I definitely have enough friends to send these to. I hope you have some friends to send some pride cards to as well. Uh, I know they're always appreciated, <laughs> so I hope you send some out this year. I'm still very much enjoying the new release. I hope to have a new video up with the new release again next week. So I hope to see you then. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.